Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick little video just showing you guys how I pack everything to sleep over at my boyfriend's house. So on prep, it's really hard because I have to have all my meals, I have to have my scale, I gotta have all my supplements, I have to have everything for the next day, I have to have all my cardio stuff, I have to have, have a refeed today, so tomorrow I have to get some posing in, so I have to bring my ring light. I have to pack so much for one night, and I know you're probably like, okay, why are you sleeping over? Normally, he always sleeps over at mine, because it's just easier, and I barely ever stay at his for this exact reason, but he's not been feeling well for the past week, he's super nauseous, and like, I just want to go and be with him and take care of him so I'm gonna pack everything and I will show you how we do it but basically it is 12 30 p.m right now and I have a research meeting and I have to leave to the research meeting in like an hour and 15 minutes so we have an hour and 15 minutes to get all our meals cooked prepped packed get everything else packed I have to eat a meal and so I'm eating a meal before we head out so then I need to pack a meal for during the research meeting after the two hour research meeting, I have a wing gate test. So I have to have my meal for after the wing gate test. I have to pack everything to make my oats at his tonight. I have to pack my stuff for breakfast tomorrow. Disclaimer, he does have all my fridge items that I need. He has them in his fridge so that it's easier on me. I always just bring my own meals, like the ones that I physically pack, but the stuff that I need, like ingredients and such, he just has them ready in his fridge. He went, he went shopping for me, so. Anyways, um, okay. And then I need to bring my pre-workout, my intro workout, and my pre-workout meal. And then after that, I'm going to go straight from his to the gym and then come home and then have the rest of my meals. So I don't need to pack like a full day, but I got to pack a lot. Like it's a lot. So I'm going to shut up and we're going to get straight into the prepping and packing. Oh, also, um, again, I still don't know how many weeks out I am. I'm about eight or nine weeks into prep. I know last video was all of the videos I filmed were like early, earlier in prep. I haven't really touched my vlogging camera since, but since we're posting them up, we're back. I'm down like 15 pounds. Still don't know what show I'm doing. Still probably won't talk about it. I just want to, yeah, just share the important, helpful stuff is what I want to focus on as I share my prep. So let's get into it. You're in my kitchen now and I'm going to pack all my meals and then very last I'll make the one that I'll eat on the spot right before I head out. Um, I do have my refeed today, so it's literally the same meals, just more rice. And I have a feeling that I have to cook rice based on how much rice I need and how much I have left. Which is going to be annoying, but we're going to do that right now. So first, I'm just going to take my meals and put them into Tupperwares. You guys ask a lot about meal prep. I don't meal prep in terms of like having all my meals ready to go. But like this is all chicken. So I will mass cook like a bunch of chicken. I'll mass cook like my rice. I definitely need more of my shrimp is frozen cooked so I just throw it in the microwave and then my breakfast I make on the spot every morning because it's eggs and then my oats I make as soon as I'm home so everything else I like mass I like bulk prep the ingredients and then every morning I'll put together the meals like I'll weigh out the stuff and put them together let's put together some meals six grams short of my rice for the meal tomorrow so I have to make a whole batch of rice because I'm missing six grams one that's depressing two I'm gonna need to make rice anyways because I don't want to like leave from his to the gym then come back and not have rice so I have to make it anyways but six grams off anyways let's make rice
Okay. Meal for the meeting and then meal for after the wing gate test are done. These go in my Sharky lunchbox. The rest of the meals go in here for like the rest of the meals. So while the rice is cooking so that I can finish, so that I can finish my meals and then also make the one that I have to eat, we're gonna pack all the dry stuff that I need for tomorrow. Gonna take some oats, put them in a baggie. Gonna take my almond butter, put it in a baggie. Gonna need my stevia. Gonna need some salt packets, woo! Gonna need some true lemon packets because I put these in my Diet Coke and I only get Diet Coke two times a week right now just to help limit it. Um, Cause if not, then I will excessively consume Diet Coke. And today's one of the days that I saved my Diet Coke for so you know that I'm gonna be putting true lemon, true lemon in it. Fire, I have true lime and true lemon. This is just crystallized lime juice. This is crystallized lemon juice. I prefer the lemon lately, but I go back and forth. So need that. Chocolate rice cakes, because I get one today. I get one and a half today on my refeed. I'm putting half of it on my oats. I'm gonna pack an English muffin for breakfast tomorrow. I have all these vitamins, okay? Like, all these vitamins. And I take all of them either morning or night, like, whatever. Just in case, I always keep, so I always bring my digestive enzymes with me. This lives in my lunchbox. I always keep my morning and my night vitamins, like one set of them. So I have this ready to go. So I just bring this. So normally um, when I'm traveling, I'll bring like one of these just bags of protein to make my oats because it's just easier. But last night I received the new flavor, which is frosted sugar cookie. And it is, I can, oh my God, I can smell it through the outside. Yeah, I'm, the fact that I get refeed size oats tonight, there's no way in hell I'm consuming those without this protein being in them. So I'm gonna put some of this protein in a baggie and also pack it with me. Here's what the baggie's looking like so far. Oats, English muffin, stevia for the coffee, almond butter. I'm gonna throw in a baggie of protein, salts and true limes, lemons. Food is mostly packed, so we're moving on to supplements. Alphamine, which I'm gonna sip with my journal. Gonna have to grab my journal stuff too. High volume and prolific because I'm gonna be heading to the gym tomorrow. True creatine and intros. I'll probably put this in a bag because I can't be like to bring all that. So all this going in the suitcase. my bathroom because it never ends. We have makeup, skincare, face wash, body wash, makeup remover, all of this going into the suitcase. All right, you guys, chaos ensues. I just ate a meal and tried to pack everything. So I'm going to show you what it's looking like. I have to head out in like 10, 15 minutes latest so that I don't catch crazy traffic and then I'm late to the meeting. And I just keep thinking, like, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? So I'm going to run through all of it with you. We have meals for the meeting and for after the wing gate test. I have my rice cakes because I don't want them to get all crumbled up. My clothes for the wing gate test in here with my cardio shoes, headphones, and all my gym stuff for tomorrow. These are my meals for tomorrow. Um, gym clothes for tomorrow, PJs, cardio clothes, posing suit, posing heels, ring light body scale, cardio stuff, chargers, supplements, dry food, skincare, toiletries, makeup, supplements, journal, all in here. And then my laptop for the meeting is going in there. I'll grab my water jug and my lip gloss. And I genuinely think that's it. You're probably like, what else could you need? But I don't know. I feel like there's always something. Anyways, I think that wraps up the video. I just wanted to show you guys the chaotic behind the scenes of like spending one night at my boyfriend's house when I'm on prep and I have to pack all my meals because I posted on my story like all the bags that I need for one night and there are some people who are like, whoa, I need to get on this level and there were some people that were like, whoa, it's not just me. Um, and I know that things are harder on prep, but they're very much doable and they're very much feasible with adequate preparation. And this is what that preparation looks like. I did it all in like an hour and 15 minutes, including I sat down and I ate a meal and I made rice and stuff. So like you do have to budget time for it, but it is worth it. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my refeed. I'm gonna head to my meeting. I'm gonna get my wing gate test done. I'm not gonna do very well on it because I don't wanna fatigue myself, but I'm gonna get it done. And then I'm gonna have a really nice night with my boyfriend and 
hopefully just relax because my brain, it's like my day off work, other than having actual like research work, it's like my day off client work. And my brain just does not know how to stop. It doesn't know how to stop, but it does when I'm around him. So that's what I need to go and shut it off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I always do vlogs. So I'm gonna try to do more like short little videos for you guys um, of like specific topics. So this was packing and I guess traveling. Like I would do the same thing if I was traveling on prep. So let me know what else you guys wanna see. I'll keep you guys updated on how prep goes along. And yeah, all right, I love you. See you in the next one.